and his lawyers argued, quote, As you can see, one of the tricks that I use is plugging a uh, clock radio into an outlet and then going downstairs and turning the, the circuit breakers off. That way I can hear when the radio goes off then I know the circuit breaker is, is off. So let's see what we got going on here. So we're gonna take the old outlet out and put this new outlet in. So, removing the plate as carefully as we can without causing too much damage to the painted surfaces around, even though we're gonna be repainting this room this week, that's why we're pulling this pro doing this project now. Uh, this is one of the reasons you're not supposed to paint um, plates to the to the plugs because it sticks. So there we are. We're open. So we pulled the power. We turned the power off. Pull the plugs out here. I'm gonna take the the ground wire off. Now what's really important here is positive and the negative. So the negative line, which is the white line, and the positive, which is the black line, that's where the power comes through. That's the live wire. And in this situation, it's been um, inserted into the back of these uh, Decora plugs. So we're gonna I think we're going to pop cut them out. There we go. So, so you can see the difference between the old plug, which has been painted, of course, and the new plug, and actually the difference in size of them. This is much bigger because it has. Um, the unit in here that reduces the power um, to manage through the USB um, outlets. And remember, we have pulled the power, so we're good there. We did that at the uh, circuit breaker. So on the back, it tells us what wires go in here. White, Blanco, and black, hot. So, or it just says hot, so. And there's a spot to go in behind the wire there, behind the the little plug there that just we'll turn it and tighten it nicely. We'll do the same thing with the white. See, we've got them there now. They're behind the little backer plate, which the screw tightens down, holds that down. And then we're going to go ahead and put the ground wire in. Now, the ground wire really is an important aspect of it because if things aren't grounded, um, many things will not either work or you'll get an error message, especially with modern technology things today. We definitely want to make sure that there's no errors. Tighten that down. And this box is pretty deep. 
uh, because it's set back from the drywall there, but the, the box itself isn't very deep. That's one of the things that when you do replace these units in there, you want to make sure that you have a nice deep box. So what we're going to do is go ahead and put our wires back in. Try not, do not let the, the uh, ground wire come over here and touch any of these um, sides. So what we're going to do is put it right there, like that. And since this box is so far back in the wall, uh, we're not going to be able to use the uh, attachment screws that are that came with the outlet. I'm going to have to use some drywall screws. And now I'm going to go back into the box to secure it. So there we remove that one. Screw at the top there. And the drywall screw at the bottom. And you want to get this as flush to the wall as possible. Um, the outlet itself has to stick out a little bit so when the um, plate goes back on, it fits right over it. So there's how that's going to work. Make sure that the outlet fits in the opening for the, um, this, this, the plate. And this is where the, making sure that the, that the unit is accessible. These little guide holes here where the outlet plates Screws are going to go into if they can't reach it. Uh, you're not going to get anywhere. There you are. We've got the um, outlet in and we're gonna go turn it back on and then it should be able to power our devices. So as you see, we're turning the power back on. Our clock radio is running again. And we need to find the USB cable here. Plug that in. That works, that plugs right in there. Plug it into our device. Oh, I heard the click. And it looks like, yep, it's, it's charging, which is great. So that's how we went ahead out and did a very simple do-it-yourself project turning taking a regular outlet and turning it into the to a USB outlet uh, using the Leviton product. Now if you have um, outlets that are circular and you have circular holes there, all you need to do is get a Decora plate to replace it and you can do the same thing. That's, that's not a problem. So, so what do we use? We use just a couple screwdrivers and some needle nose pliers, turned off the power, um, then took out the outlet and put the new outlet in and we're done. And we did it probably in under 15 minutes.